Hey Brewers, it's Paul here and today I'm going to show you three different ways to clean your keg lines. Cheapest, kind of easiest way, PET bottle with some PBW powdered brewery wash solution in it that I've put a carbonation cap to, ball lock disconnect right to your shank. So that's the first way I'll show you. Second way is just using a keg that you probably already have. Let's say you just drank all the beer in it, you're going to clean this keg anyway. You can use that to clean your beer lines. And then the way I like doing it with a pump. So I'll show you all three methods. First, you wanna make sure that your kegs are disconnected. I have forgotten in the past, take off the faucet, there's a little bit of beer left in there and just start spraying out at you. So for sure, disconnect all your beverage lines. Once that's done, I just wanna make sure any beer that might be still in the lines that can come out will leak into like a glass or something, I don't want it coming all over. Okay, so we're good. I'm gonna start off by taking the faucet off of here. Uh, you definitely wanna use a faucet tool like this, like one of these wrenches. They have a notch that goes into the faucet collar. There we go. And then what I'll do is take the handle off Make sure the faucet is open, as if you're gonna pour beer. And then I'll get a separate bucket with some PBW. I'll let that soak in there while I'm cleaning the lines. Next, so as I mentioned, I built this little contraption here. You can buy them already done. Uh, I think they're around $30 or so, but uh, like I said, a carbonation cap, ball lock disconnect, small piece of tubing, and then a faucet adapter. So we're gonna screw this on here. connect it to the bottle with our cleaning solution. And then you can't get the cleaning solution uh, through the lines unless the disconnect, which I hope is labeled number three. Number three, perfect. So what you would need to do for the liquid to go through is a couple of things. You could connect it to an empty keg. That'll let the liquid through. You can take the disconnect off. Or what I choose to do is once again using these carbonation caps. I mean, they're cheap and they come in so handy that I usually have half a dozen lying around. Grab yourself a bucket or something like that. Then all you need to do is squeeze the bottle and then the cleaning solution will go through there. And you wanna let that sit in the lines for a bit. So I'll take this off, let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes, and then do it again. And then after that, give it a rinse. And if, you, if you're not gonna connect the keg right away, it's probably worth putting some star sand in or, or another no rinse sanitizer through them. So that's one way of cleaning your lines. So the second way of cleaning your kegs, and this was what I did when I started kegging, I would just use a keg that I had just emptied and cleaned. You add, you know, three liters of water, give or take some PBW, give it a good shake. Make sure the faucet you wanna clean is off to begin with. Just grab the appropriate line, number four. Again, making sure that's closed. Hook up your CO2, which this CO2 tank is empty. I will be right back. All right, so I'm back with the CO2 tank that is not empty. I just have this set to like five or six PSI. Let it pressurize. And then just grab yourself some sort of container. I usually let it run, the PBW run through for about 20 seconds or so. And then again, I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna let that PBW sit in the lines for 15, 20 minutes. And I'll probably do that two or three times depending on how dirty the lines are. And then once that's done, I'll empty this, rinse it out, put some clean rinse water, and then put some clean water through that same faucet for same thing, about uh, you know a minute or so, uh, using just CO2 to push it through. All right, now the third way using a pump, I have myself a bucket here that I added some beer line cleaner to. 
This stuff likes to be recirculated. I don't know how effective it is if you would just use it, let's say, in the bottle and that it's in the lines. Not too sure. It specifically says that it should be recirculated through the beer lines. So I've added some to this bucket with some clean water. I'm gonna submerge my pump. Again, you could buy these as a package or you could build it yourself. It's just uh, a pump strong enough to recirculate through the, uh, the cleaner through the lines. And uh, I have inner tap or Nuka tap faucets on all my kegerators at home. So I have a ball lock disconnect here instead of the faucet adapter because on Nuka tap or on the uh, inner tap, you can remove the spout, which I'll soak in here, and you can attach a ball lock disconnect. Now these come in handy, not just for cleaning, but let's say you wanted to uh, bottle some of your beer with a beer gun, you can hook the beer gun directly to here without having to open up your kegerator and all that stuff. Beer line cleaner in the bucket, I'm gonna hook this up to our faucet, and then once again, use this or a keg to uh, allow the cleaner to go through the line. I did not label these and they're both labeled L, whatever that is. So it's just gonna have to try and see which one's the right one here. Start with this one. So we have our faucet open. And I'll just plug in the pump. And the first little bit I wanna let drain into something else. That's gonna be all the old dirty beer. Once that's drained out, I'm gonna put it back in the bucket. That way it's recirculating constantly. And nothing's happening, so that is the wrong one. Try the other one labeled L. There you go. So if you look at that, that is really nasty. All right, so now the cleaning solution is going through your faucet, through the beer line, back into this bucket. So you're gonna let that run for at least 15 minutes. I usually do about a half an hour. Just walk away, go have a beer, whatever. And then once the half hour is done, I'm gonna get some clean rinse water, rinse it through, and then usually I'm gonna tap a keg right away, so that's all I'll do. Some people like to uh, you know, put some star sand through there. Whatever you, know, you think will work best for your situation. I think that pretty much covers it. If there's any questions you have, anything I need to elaborate on, just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer them. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to see future content like this. Cheers.